Howdy folks, we're well, Coffee and Tools on Thursday and we have the Creality, we have the CR Laser Falcon with the new 10 watt laser and of course I want to do one of those usual hack jobs where I want to see just how deep this will cut. We'll also talk about some of the features about with the Creality. The Creality has a working area of 400 by 410 millimeter. They wanted me to tell you that just so I'd mention that but let's get her hooked up and let's see how far she'll go. So here we are back at the Creality machine. This is a 10 watt laser. Uh, in the past, the uh, CR Laser Falcon was a five watt laser. I uh, have talked to Creality and suggested we call it the Falcon 10 or something just because of the 10 watt laser. Did not really get much of a response on it just yet, but who knows, maybe they'll, uh, they'll come around to uh, my, my, my train of thought is you know, simple. We had a five watt laser. A lot of people will think this is the five watt machine. And a lot of people really love the 5 watt machine, so that's a good thing. Creality is a great company. They make some fantastic 3D printers, and they've come out with these lasers now. And this one here, since it showed up, it's a it's virtually you know so new to the market that there wasn't any available. I'm going to give you a link in the description below that will get you a discount, and hopefully the lasers will be available as of today so i'm hoping that's where we're at meantime i've decided to go ahead and uh i guess we'll say torture the system here i ran a couple of these off this morning early and just sort of tried some different things what i'm doing is uh making like this one here is uh, like 20 passes at high power and this is crazy, but this is three quarter inch plywood, which is not something, you know, obviously this is basswood and it was cut in one pass. And that's pretty good with a 10 watt laser. That is pretty darn nifty. But what I did was I ran it through three quarter as far as it would go and kept making multiple passes. And at three quarters of an inch, look at this. I mean, that, that baby's, she has gone down in there. You know, she has really cut down big time. That almost cut three quarters of an inch plywood. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I could have lowered the laser down to get the focal point lower. I might have been able to get right through the entire three quarter inches. Wow, you know, but I just gave her a lot of torture testing. Uh, this pass here was extremely slow and just digging in a little bit just to see, again, torturing the test, test machine a little bit. Uh, the machine has excellent precision and as I said, it was a 400 by 410 millimeter. This work surface area I have here is 400 by 400, so that's why I mentioned it last week. But now it is the machine itself is 400 by 410. Creality said, you know, we want you to make sure you understand that. And using their gauge here to set up the laser, I use the lowest setting, of course, which maximizes the thickness of, in this case, basswood to seven to eight millimeter. But uh, when you torture test like I did, uh, you're definitely getting a whole lot more than that. Uh, in fact, uh, let's get a tape measure on that and just see exactly how deep that did cut. Okay, American standard tape measure too, by the way, so that uh, you can understand what we're looking at here for cut. But it looks like, and we'll just use the one here as an example. Wow, that's a good, that is a good half inch, yeah half inch into that plywood it has it has actually cut it with the laser so that is crazy that's neat though uh like i said i wish i could get the laser down a little lower i just finished the cut and actually cut a three quarter inch piece of plywood i believe it's possible but we'll uh we'll have to come back to that another time when we when we're getting uh yeah when we're in uh, laser torture days the uh, control system is easy. It's a nice clean package. It's fairly lightweight. It's not a heavy machine. And uh, so we just, it has the hard limits. I'm just going over it with you a little bit because it is a good laser. And I'm thinking it's probably gonna be at a really good price. Creality's 3D, uh, 3D printers are awesome and they have very good pricing structure to them. Generally, you get, you know, you get your money's worth kind of thing. So I don't think the laser would be any different. You know, it's just an awesome machine. The 10 watts with this magnetic base on it here right now is absolutely uh, just super too because it's so easy to uh, remove this if you need to but and clean the, the focal, the uh, actual lens. 
but the focal length is like, uh, to explain that, that's kind of like the cutting edge of your saw. I mean, that's where all the work is going to happen kind of thing with a laser. So you'll hear a lot about focal uh, length and focal point when you're talking about lasers. So that, expect to run into that. Uh, Creality tells me I believe they are going to uh, improve the manual a little bit. There was, it was pretty decent, but you know, it really kind of relies, I think, in some cases with people that have experience around lasers. So when you get something like this, you, you know, the newbie might feel a little lost, which would be a shame. The other thing I didn't like was the TF card, but that TF card thing was uh, just kind of useless. It, um, it would be good for a newbie because you'd have files on here you could look at to help you assemble the machine, you know, that sort of thing. But I really didn't see anything more uh, capable than that at that point. I was, and also, I had to take the file from this on the USB port in order to feed it in you know, so we could get this done. In other words, you've got to have a, you basically need a computer. You can't run this on its own without something. Uh, I did try a couple times to see if there was some way we could put the uh, G code on the TF card, load it into the box here, and have it cut. Now, there might be something in the future that will change all that, but right now, uh, this does not, so it has to be tied to, in this case, my laptop in order to get the instructions as to what to do. But, again, it is Creality. I really expect some great things from these people because they have done some fantastic stuff. I think, I keep thinking about the CR30 uh, uh, 3D printer that had that infinite, you know, range on it. That was just absolutely insanely crazy. And it, the fact that they even went through and tried to get that thing to work, and, and they did get it working, was to me was like, wow, that, that's pretty awesome. <sighs> Guys, girls, we got a draw today. And I think we need to get to the draw, but I just wanted to finish up on the Creality Laser again today and just tell you, you know, got, got your sale price on it, so should be a good one. Wow, that uh, Creality Laser makes, a, makes for an interesting hobby if you're into engraving or uh, any kind of, you know, woodworking even. It can kind of expand to your range, but anyways, we're giving away something and it's mostly if you have rounded nuts, <laughs> this will help you because it's a nut extractor. Nut extractor kit, which uh, is from OMT, they make a lot of different uh, toolings uh, for different things. So, where are we here? Ah, there we are. Ah, it's heavy too. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Uh, I will also provide a link in the description below for the uh, plate that I use for underneath my uh, laser machines. I have in the past, but you know, I'll provide a link for that where you can get it. I do like that. That working plate is awesome. We've had all kinds of different lasers in here, but that plate, I've used it over and over and over again for various jobs. Uh, we're giving away the OMT Nut Extractor Kit. Kind of a, something you should just have in the toolbox in case you have a, a bad day and your nuts get round. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, enough said. Let's get, the, let's get the tickets in here. And just think, the winner will be the person who has rounded nut problem. Well, whatever. So we got we got the tickets in the bucket. There was quite a few entries. Thanks everyone again for entering. It's just, it's nice to see lots of names in there from all over the place. Even Morocco, right? Apparently he has rounded nuts in Morocco. But uh, let's see if we can't find us a wiener. And the big wiener with the rounded nut is, there's a ticket. See who we got here. Ah, ah, ah. I can't. Oh man, no. Dog. Yeah, he said to call him dog. I don't know. So or dag. I think it's dog. <laughs> He's in Middlesex, New Jersey. That's that famous state where you know don't worry about it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, his first name, the same as the cartoon character from the uh, video machines, what is it, Mario. Oh. <laughs> Who knew? Mario has round nut problems. <laughs> Mario, you got yourself a nut extractor. And it just says your name is, yep. Call me dog. Okay, dog. You got your nut extractor, dog. <laughs> If you live up in those states where they get a lot of salt off the roads and stuff from the winter time stuff, yeah, rounded nuts do happen. So yeah, not as funny as you think. You know, 
kind of one of those things. But anyway, congratulations there, dog. And uh, we'll get you, we'll get you this out by Monday. We'll have it on its way to you. And I thank you for entering. And in the meantime, we got to get rid of all these, and we've deleted and destroyed the email box and blew it up. We actually went in and deleted the deleted files and the trash files and everything to make sure it's totally cleared out so there's no trace or record. You know, in case the FBI break in here and try to, you know, ask for records or something. So it's all been burned and gone, so there won't be any trace of it. Yeah, there you go. And then when we come back, uh, let's set up something for uh, next week. Also, whoa, Monday, I've got a, I think it'll be a pretty interesting show. It's a cutter carver for wood and also have one for metal and I have never seen this tool before but I've seen a tool that was made by someone that sort of does the same thing but it was homemade so we're gonna get into all that on Monday should be should be interesting and that tools I've been waiting for them since uh, June they finally got them to me so yes we can we can cover that it is gonna be that's gonna be a fun tool oh yeah anyway Let's get rid of this and let's find out what we're doing for next Thursday's draw. There we go. Whoa, 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 Hold the phone. I did say something about a booby prize. Let's pick a second name. I'll tell you what we're gonna send out. We're gonna send out the famous Mr. Tweezers. Yes, for, for when you get a uh, wood sliver in your hand, we'll send you, we're gonna send you a sliver. <laughs> The Mr. Tweezers, so let's see who's got a booby prize for <laughs> Jim in Glasgow, UK. No, not UK. Oh, it's Montana. Okay, you yeah, you got slavers in Montana. Oh, you know it. So Jim up there in Glas Glasgow, Montana, you've got yourself a set of Mr. Tweezers coming for you. <laughs> that is the booby prize this week. Now let's get now. Let's see if we can find what we're doing for next Thursday. I'll bet you can all guess what uh, next Thursday is, but we have to give it away. So. <laughs> Actually, it's not that bad, but let's see if there's any uh, anyone with uh, gender issues here because this is a really neat screwdriver kit. We covered it, and, and again, I'll provide a link in the description below uh, for where you can find these. but. Uh, it was sent in by a uh, girlfriend there, Lynn, I believe, and we showed it on the show the other week. And it was, it's a 19 to 1 screwdriver kit. So it, it's sort of like one of those ones where you carry it in the RV or the car or camping equipment, something like that, or just keep it around in the office, whatever, because it has 19 bits in total uh, in one driver. And it's a ratcheting, you know, ratcheting driver, which I really like. I like that ratcheting uh, drivers because, you know, you can, you know, it, does, it makes it fast, easier on the wrist and things got a nice handle and stuff. We've talked about it before, so anyways. Yes, uh, how are we gonna do this? Well, let's see, we'll stand off to one side like I always do. Let's go over here. And uh, over there, I will put up. So how do you get into the draw for the free screwdriver? Well, email me to this address here. Yes, CNT Rewards, or C, I said it wrong again. CT Rewards at gmx.com. And in the subject line of the letter uh, let's use the word screw yeah screw <laughs> it's getting bizarre yes it's pink you will win a pink screwdriver but hey not everybody can win a pink screwdriver right so, <laughs> so yeah screw uh, one uh, entry per household and in the body of the letter just your name and your address just like you're doing a postal return on a letter or something like that that's all we want nothing more and uh, we'll get this out next Thursday somebody will get themselves a nice pink screwdriver I mean we fixed the guy with the rounded nuts in New Jersey so you know what's a pink screwdriver <laughs> from coffee and tools thank you for watching and uh, wow Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell so you can get notified when new things are given away, like pink screwdrivers. <laughs> it's a hundred something in here. I'm pretty sure that's what's hitting me right now is this heat, but uh, I'm hoping we're gonna get a break. We got a cold front coming in or something that's gonna drop it down to, you know, in 90s or something. <laughs> and rain, maybe some rain, I don't know. <laughs> we could use the rain, but. A lot of places can. Other places have got way too much rain. Anyways, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools, guys. And hey, I'm out of here. Over and out.